All right, we have the winners I for. I know a lot. <laughs> Best documentary. Please come up. Okay, this is for the four summer crew, including Summer. Come in from, from, come in front. Beautiful. Would you like to hold the microphone? Come on, you come down with me. You love a mic. Okay, you're going to sing me a song. She will not give it to you <laughs> at all. Okay. We need a new mic. Then. All right. Well, I'll ask a quick question, then I'll pass it to her. Okay. So, um, what a brilliant documentary, and how f what a deserved win. I would like to. I, I have to say, I think we should give this documentary a round of applause. Thank you. It's obviously. I mean, all the documentaries in the uh, category was, uh, were fantastic, but yours is incredibly unusual because it, not, it is not a documentary from the outside. It is a documentary from the inside mm. about Aleppo. Um, I can't imagine that you would ever thought you would ever get out. What do you think about the whole process now? Uh, I literally like can't process everything we went through so far. Um, like. I was aware about all the dangers and the risk and also the great moment that we lived we lived through through that experience but like I've never got chance you know like to think about all of these things and there's a, like a whole question struggling in my mind all the time about you know why did that happen and why it's still happening which literally I'm trying to find that answer through this uh, we now touring with the film all over the world trying to just shed the light on what's happening and tell all the governments, you know, all the uh, political people or um, any decision makers, you know, like why did that happen? Why it's still like no one wants to solve this problem? Uh, and really, like, I hope all of this recognition will make a lead for some people who can really make something, you know, and watch the film, understand that and see that this is not about like, aliens people you know it's about people like them they we deserve like freedom we deserve democracy we deserve a better life as any other country or over the world yeah very true thank you very much um i feel like we should get summer to say something should we ask her <laughs> summer would you like to come up here have a microphone would you like a tall microphone or a small one How long have you got? <laughs> okay, try now. Mama, you need to speak or let's go home. Okay. Yeah, come on. Do you want to say something? <laughs> we'll go to okay. bed. What do you want to say? Turn around this way. Turn around this way and show everyone your lovely dress. I would like to say you lo your dress looks fantastic. Are you happy with your dress? What's the film name? Oh. <laughs> 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 I think that's it. <laughs> that was a big statement. Yeah, you done? Okay, beautiful. Do you want to say something or not? You're not sure, are you? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to throw it open to you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the press, really quickly before Summer wrecks the joint, to be honest. Um, <laughs> do we have any questions for the four Summer crew? Uh -huh. No? Okay, I'm going to say. Um, Edward? Um, I, it's a fantastic uh, documentary. I think people maybe are perhaps scared to watch it, but I would really urge people to watch it. It's a absolutely. That's what I want to ask thing. them. Like, yeah, you don't you have you don't have question because no one watch it or because <laughs> no one oh, everyone agrees with us. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's just, what it is. I just want to say yeah. something like as you said, like all of, most of the. Uh, like any like critics who, who wrote about the film was like it's hard to watch or difficult to watch, but the unfortunate like what you have seen in the film is maybe ten percent of what we've left. They had like to cut a lot of like bloody scenes because of uh, like it's too much to present. So what what you have seen in the film is only ten percent of what Wad had, which is nothing like. It, of course, it's like also maybe like ten or five percent of what's happening in Aleppo, and it's now happening in Idlib, like in the past six months more than 71 attacks happened on 51 health facilities. 10 of them were maternity hospitals. The last one was yesterday. And the day before yesterday also, there was another hospital that was destroyed. Yeah. So I know it's hard to watch, but I think it's all more harder than it's happening. So please bring more awareness about what's going on in Syria. Yeah, well, this is exactly what the BAFTA will exactly. do. Exactly. Congratulations. It's a very, very well-deserved win. Thank you. Congra Thank you. Oh, one oh. question we do. Okay, hello. Congratulations Sorry. on an Sorry. incredible film. Um, and hopefully this will bring more exposure to Sorry. this incredibly important issue. Do you have plans to 
return to uh, a documentary about people in Syria or about a particular part of the world where people are suffering so much? Um, I really think, I'm thinking about my next project, which will be also a documentary, and it's about Syria. It's not back there, but there's so many, like more than really, like I can count for you now, list of ideas and things which we really like need to be heard. Uh, so yeah, I, I will do that, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just playing with Sam and <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.